Hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of my uh, Satisfactory Let's Play. So in the last video we kind of started up started up this entire factory right here. Well, I mean it doesn't really, it's not really a factory actually, but we do have a miner. We do have a miner and we have a smelter which goes into the storage container which makes iron ingots. So that that's pretty nice. We have a limestone... Um, node right there and also a copper one just behind that rock that you can see right there and um yeah and this is the hub we finished uh the sixth upgrade for the hub and now we have all these things so actually we have biomass now so i'm gonna stop being wasteful and i'm gonna get rid of that and then i'm gonna craft all of these things up into biomass and so yeah this is more efficient okay so, I think that the logical thing to do now is to start working on the, uh, the tiers. So, I, I'll probably, I, I'll, I'll look at the stuff that I think I should probably, um, get. So, solid biofuel, that's definitely something I might want to do. And also a chainsaw. Um, but yeah, these, these require quite a lot of materials, as you can see. So, what is... What is something that I want? Um, maybe, well, these, these foundations, they'd probably be useful. Oh, a map. Uh, this reward will give you a map that you can access whenever you want. So I can see a map of the world. That, that'd be pretty cool. Um, field research, so object scanner. Um... So yeah, these actually, these are, these are all pretty useful things. Conveyor splitters, conveyor mergers, conveyor lift. So yeah, it's honestly, I, I don't know what I want to do. I think I might want to start with, um, just so I can kind of establish a bunch of things. I might want to start with base building. So, or, yeah, base building. So I'm going to set a milestone right here. And so I need 200, I need 200 lime concrete, I need 200 concrete, 100 iron plates, and 100 iron rods. So, you know what, I'm actually, I'm going to put all of this biomass into here, all this stuff. And so I'm going to need to set up a miner at the limestone node. So, um... So I need a portable miner to make another one. So, yeah, I'm going to get some of these, some of the iron ore from here. So, yeah, I've gotten quite a lot. And so I'm just going to make some iron plates just like this. I'll make a few. I'll also make some iron rods. I, I, I don't remember if I need them to make um, a portable miner, but I might as well make them. Uh, they'll probably come in handy. Yeah, I did. Okay, so portable miner. There we go. And then for the miner, I can, I can build this. So if I head over in this direction, I should be able to place it. Yeah, right here. So I think I might just do this and then... So that is placed down right there, and now I'll just have, I'll actually, I'll put the, is it the constructor that I need? I think it's the constructor, so, um, yeah, I'm gonna need to make some, what was the material I need for the constructor? I need some more wires. And I do not have any... Actually, I do have some copper. Alright, so what I can do is I can actually just make a craft bench right here. And then I can make some wires with this. Oh, wait, no, I need cables, not wires. Alright. So I'll just make some of these. And so now... I can make a constructor. Just like this. I do need to get rid of this, though. So, constructor... Can go right here. Oh, I need reinforced iron plates. Oh, wait a minute. 
uh, reinforced iron plate. I need screws and iron plates for six iron plates for okay. Okay, that's 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 quite a lot. All right. So did it say I need two reinforced iron plates? All right, I'll just make I'll just make a bunch of iron plates. And so I need rods for screws. So I'm going to go until I can make three. There we go. So one, two, and then can I place on the constructor now? Yeah, I can. Okay. So is this lined up? Is this lined up? Just like this. Um, I need to make sure that I can see the green line. Right, there we go. And then... This can go through here. And... Now we have the constructor. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to bring a conveyor belt... All the way down here. All the way down here so i am going to need some more resources i'm just going to make as many iron plates as i can so i'm going to use up all of these all these iron ingots right here i still i'm still trying to i'm still trying to get used to all the names of these things all right so i need concrete oh i need i need concrete all right i guess we should probably go right here, but this isn't powered. So. Oh, I also need concrete for this. Alright, I'll just put down a craft bench right here. And then I'll just start mining this. I'll get 24 limestone. Then I'll make 8 pieces of concrete. Then I should be able to actually build some things now. So, if I... Placed on a power line right here. I'll actually, I'll do that and then I'll connect that up to those two. And so that looks a little bit too long. So I'll actually, I'll put a pull uh, right up here. I'll go right up here and put a pull up here. And then this can go down to the biomass burner. I'll actually, oh, I'm missing, I'm missing cables. Okay. I can just make some of these, and then I can make some wires. Alright, so now I have a ton of wires now, so hopefully I should be able to finish this power line. So I'm probably just going to bring one more power line down over to here, and then I'll connect these two up just like that. And there we go. So now this thing, this thing right here should be powered now. It should be. So now I need to bring a conveyor belt all the way down here. So I'll extend this out just a little bit more. And then, so yeah, this is kind of like, um, it's sort of, I want to call it a temporary base. It's not a temporary base per se, but, um, it, it's just, this, this is just to get me started. So if some things aren't exactly uh organized as much as i would like them to be that's that's okay because i'm not planning on staying here forever okay i need 10 i need 10 iron plates you know i've just realized it's very useful to just cr make a craft bench just like that that it's very useful although i have to go over here since i ran out of iron all right there we go a storage container and then i can hook up these two conveyor belts these, this conveyor belt right here. And so, yeah, this should. Oh, wait a minute, is this? Yeah, this is, this is working, right? Oh no, it's not constructing anything because I haven't set it to construct the concrete. So, um, oh wait, the, uh, yeah, all right, there we go. The concrete is right here. So there now it should start producing things. So yeah, here's the concrete right here and then so yeah um they should just start making their way all the way down here so yeah it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit of time it's gonna take a little bit of time so um maybe maybe while that concrete is just going i should start setting up some other miners at these iron nodes right here yeah so maybe 
maybe I should just try to focus on automating everything, and then, and then in the next episode I can maybe start actually unlocking things. So, okay, this is this is done right here. So I'm actually I'm gonna demolish you, or I have to pick you up, and then, so I'm gonna make a miner goes right here but i need i'm missing concrete okay I, I i'm so broke on concrete good thing that i'm starting this thing so i might just grab the concrete off the conveyor belt all right minor mark one will go right here and then i will actually i'll make another equipment workshop right here just so that i can buy or not buy but make another portable miner and then i'll get rid of this and then I will make another miner, which will go right here. And so these both look uh, parallel. Okay. So, yeah, I have two miners now. I do need to hook these up to power. So, you know, I might want to start by doing that. So, where do, do I have another? Do I have another pole? Okay, doesn't look like it. Alright, um, I'm going to temporarily get rid of this power line right here, make a new one right here, and then I'll connect this up right here. Oh, I'm missing, missing a cable. Alright. I, I, I actually, I'm so, I'm so, I, I can't say this enough, I'm so glad that I came up with, well, I, I, I didn't came up, come up with, I'm sure, uh, everybody a place this game has already done this. But I'm glad I just discovered the little trick of just making a craft bench wherever I am and then deleting it. It's very useful and much faster than going all the way back to the hub every single time. Alright, so there we go. So now all these are, both of these are hooked up and have power, I'm pretty sure. This is mining, right? No power. This is... Giving power, right? Or is it is it is this biomass burner giving too much power? Um yes it is. Okay. So I'm gonna actually I'm gonna dismantle that. And then I'll go and get some more biomass from here. And now we'll put some of that into here. Then I'll connect to this up to this power line right over here and then I'll do that there we go everything should be working now okay so yeah I need to make sure that I don't connect too much up to a single biomass burner so for some of the buildings actually I might want to build a biomass burner so I'll just put one right here and then I'll connect this up to the pool right up there and there we go i hope i hope that works and then i can put some biomass into here so there we go and then i can use a craft bench to make some more biomass leaves with the leaves that i have there we go and i can put those into here okay so yeah i have power for all of these things now these should be producing stuff yeah i'm pretty sure this green light means that's powered although i could be wrong um all right so now i actually what i need is so i need a constructor i think this is correct putting it right here and then so yeah i just do that and then so the smelter it will make iron ingots just like this and then i do need to connect up the power Concrete. It's just I concrete's the one thing holding me back. Okay. And is it is it working? Well there's some concrete in here. I should have it should have worked. Oh, do I need to reset this? There we go. I think this is working now. So if I go over here, yeah, concrete's coming back out. Okay. So yeah, everything's working, and now I have a bunch of concrete. Okay. And so I'm going to need to power up 
that right there. So if I get to this pool right here before the floor, is there another one I can use? Okay, I'll actually I'll I'll place another power line right here. I'll actually I'll put down a couple power lines so one can go right there and a couple one can go right there. So that power line can go to right there. And then I'll make a smelter for this one. I'll replace that since I didn't place it properly. And so now I'm gonna put this into here. And there we go. So everything is smelting now. There should be Yeah, so there's a bunch of iron ingots in here. And now I need a I need some constructors. So I do need to make some more reinforced iron plates for that. So if I make two constructors, that means that I need four reinforced iron plates. So I'll just make some screws until I have enough to make four iron plates reinforced iron plates and there we go so now I should have all the resources to make the constructors so oh and cables oh I'm missing cables all right so I'll just make some wires now how how many cables did it say I'm pretty sure it was 10 per constructor so I'll just probably make um enough cables until I can make 25 and then I can just do this all right yeah that should should hopefully hopefully be enough so constructor now and so i'll place this right in front right there then i'll place another constructor right here okay and there we go now i can connect up the conveyor belts there we go. So I have a, I have pretty much everything iron all automated now. It's just now I just need to bring these things to con storage containers. So this can go... I'll actually make the two storage containers right down here. So organization. I will build one storage container. I like how I kind of build stilts under it. Storage containers. So this can go right beside right there. And now I'll connect to this one up to here. Okay, that's that's very steep. All right. So if I kind of make a spiral, can I make a spiral? Does that work? Hmm. All right. Maybe I should make a conveyor lift. Actually. Oh, wait. No, I can't make a conveyor lift yet. What do I need to do to get a conveyor lift? Um. Uh. Select milestone. Conveyor lift. Oh, okay. So you know what? Maybe, maybe I need. Maybe I should do logistics. I'll. It honestly. I. I don't know if it matters too much. Um. But yeah, I just. I need to. Okay, I need to make sure that I can get this thing to go into the storage container. So if I just move this around, I need iron plates again. So, you know, actually, one of these is producing iron plates, or I need to actually, I need to set it. So, this one is making iron rods. Alright, so iron rods, iron plates, there's another part of the node right there that can probably make screws. So, yeah, oh, I need, I need to connect these up. Alright, so this goes in here, and this can connect up to that. And then there we go. Uh, are all the biomass burners alright? Are they all providing enough energy? Any yellows? No, all green. It's all green. So wait, I think it's working. Or one of, oh, there. Oh, so that's the issue. And then this right here is making iron plates. Alright, there we go. Now I can extend out this conveyor belt to go right there. And then I can bring this up. Okay. I have I have enough rods and concrete, so yeah, I just need to wait for this thing to make some more iron plates. We'll make a craft bench to make some extra ones. Alright, so the conveyor belt goes down to here and connects up just like that. And so yeah, iron plates are now getting brought over here. 
What's the issue right here? Um, no power to this. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make a another I'm gonna make another hole right here. Okay, I'm missing I'm missing wires. Okay, I'll just I'll just make a few of these, and then so I need to. I'll just make I'll just make an extra pull right here because each pull can only have four connections. So I need to make sure that I don't run out of pulls. And so yeah, everything should start working now. Some rods should start coming out of here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is this is good. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting so much so many items now. Getting so many items. You know, I don't actually I don't think I need iron ingots. I, yeah, I don't think I need iron ingots at all, so I think I could probably start automating screws right here. So I will, I will actually get rid of the storage container. Oh, there's so many iron ingots in here. Okay, so I will build a constructor right here. And, oh, I forgot, I need some reinforced iron plates. Okay, silly me. Right, so this constructor can make screws, and then it can go into a storage container, right? I'll, I'll make the storage container go right here, and then this conveyor belt can link up right here. And there we go. There we go. So I have, so I now have screws, and iron plates, and screws and iron rods now all completely automated so i think this thing needs power so i'll just make i need i need more wire okay you know actually all right so yeah i i have everything iron all covered i'm completely iron automated so now in the next video i think that i should probably work on copper well, I also, I, I completely forgot about concrete, but yeah, concrete is also good, but I need to work on copper, because copper is a very important resource right now, and I still don't have it automated. I'm very low on copper. So, uh, yeah, I definitely, that definitely is a priority. So, yeah, I will do that. I will do that in the next video. I just want to make sure that everything I think is all covered is actually covered. Okay, I'm having a problem. This isn't being powered, so maybe... Well, none of the biomass burners are having issues, so I don't know what it could be. If I connect this up right here, there's a spark. I'm just going to make another biomass burner to hopefully be able to power this constructor. I hope that that's um, what the issue is. Uh, all these things are still have biomass in them. I'm not running out of biomass anytime soon. So, I don't see what the problem could possibly be. Alright, I'll just get a hundred, hundred of that. And put the biomass into here. And there we go. So, now that's producing power. Um, it's going straight to this connection right here with the constructor. Um... It needs, it needs iron ingots. It needs iron ingots. Should I just make the production again? Or... Or is, is this conveyor belt even connected properly? It should be. So, is, it's going... Why, why is it stopping right here? I don't understand what the issue could be. I put iron ingots in, and so this needs it needs iron ingots. Why why is this thing not working? It's powered. It is. It's powered. This thing is. This thing has. It has power. Why? Why is that light red? That biomass burner is working. Did I not? I connected up the power. I did right here. Wait, now it's working? 
Oh, uh, all right. I I don't know. I don't know why it wasn't working. It, I I I connected up the power, but I for some reason I guess it wasn't connected up. Okay, that I guess that makes sense, but at the same time it doesn't because. All right. Yeah. It, it just okay. It doesn't it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It works. It works now, and that is all. And that is all that I care about. All right. So, you know, actually, so there are iron rods being produced here. So I'm going to actually, I'm going to get rid of this conveyor belt. I'm going to make another constructor right here. I need some more copper items as usual. All right. So yeah, that is all hooked up right here. And now I just need these storage containers. So I'm going to set up it so that. I'll actually, just so that's more organized, I'm going to set it this way. And then this conveyor belt can just go right into here. Or is that not going to work? Oh yeah, that's that's definitely not going to work. Okay, I'm going to move the storage container a little bit farther out. Just right up to here. And now this should work. Yeah, there we go. And then this will make screws. And I can connect this up to here so that it is powered. Yeah, that's a green, and there we go. So now it is making screws. So yeah, now I have now I have iron plates automated, iron rods automated, and now screws automated, which is very, 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 very nice. Okay, so yeah, I think I think that's about it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to go over to the copper um node and then i'll kind of set up a miner there and i'll set up a smelter and then i'll probably after that just start bringing the iron ingots over here and then yeah i don't know how many parts how many nodes there are at the at the copper area right there how many um miners i can set up there hopefully hopefully more than one because i want to be able to automate uh, wires and cables, wires and cables and copper ingots and all, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'll just that that's that's future me's problem. I'll make I'll make a little bit of biomass with the leaves and wood that I have, but um yeah overall, overall very successful. And now I have this absolute mess of an area right here. I actually I do want to see how much concrete have I gotten. For a second I thought this was three hundred. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, that is that is very good. Okay, concrete, concrete. I am good on concrete. I'm good. I'm very good on concrete. So, um, yeah, thank you for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.